is to take a look at the helix tool. We can take a look from the top. So we're looking from the top view. And at our top view, we would understand it that we would again be able to start here from the center point have our line and then select click and drag that line and hit the enter key now to select this line and then start our helix we would right click and choose our object snaps we'll make sure that we snap to the center of the radius or we can choose to the midpoint of the line notice it's snapping here so once we're snapped we can click and drag specify the radius and we would type in 2.5 and hit the enter key type in 2.5 enter key again and then we would specify the height which will be at 6 we can move down and we would see that this would wrap itself around the actual object by double clicking this will bring up its properties we're going to look at the turns and we want to edit this to 10 to create our rivets we can double click the cylinder we notice the radius is at 2 so we're going to double click and make sure that the base radius is at 2 and the top radius is at 2 this will now wrap around quite nicely we can choose to delete this here and now with this we're going to delete the cylinder that we have here but before we do that again we would want to create our rivets so what we can do is copy it and paste it over here or we're going to create a new one well let's take a look from the top view move over select our helix snap to the center or to the midpoint once here at the center we can specify the base type in 2 2 again and then the height we'll type in 6 to match that of the other helix now that we have the height we understand that this needs to go downwards turn on ortho and make sure that we go down hit control Z zoom out select the object and then simply move this downwards double click and choose how many turns type in 10 and hit the enter key hit the enter key again zoom in and now we'll be able to subtract so we want to subtract the object so we're going to select the objects to subtract from this will be the object and then we'll now select the object to subtract and this needs to be the cylinder and hit the enter key so now note we have our bolt all we have to do is create our rivets